holy humidex it is humid it's thick out there thick just about drink the air this morning wow i was supposed to hook up to that step deck this morning but somebody busted the tension rod at the back uh there's those big square or on the step backs anyways it's a the tension rod that keeps the curtains tight right and the bracket on the passenger side was snapped right off and being held on there by a little uh strap and i'm picking up a load that's going all the way to texas so uh i figured we probably shouldn't send that trailer all the way down to texas all busted up like that so i'm gonna let the shop know right away and we can get it fixed before they uh before they send it out on the road i put a little red tag on it to make sure nobody else grabs it by accident. Glad I noticed that. It'd be hard not to, I mean. So we got us hooked up to this 48 foot uh, flat instead, which in my opinion is a lot better. I'm happier with it. These things open a whole lot easier than those step deck curtains open. I think it's a 48. Kind of looks like a 53 from here now. So I've got one partial load pickup in Stonewall, Manitoba today. Then I've got my second partial load pickup in Arburg, Manitoba. And then I bring it back here and our highway driver is going to be ready to pull it on down south to Texas. Oh. Everything's so sticky. Buckle myself in so I don't fall out. Gotta go across the yard and fill up my, uh, oh, my water bottle is full. Well, that's handy. Guess I didn't drink any water yesterday. Huh. And then I guess I'm just good to roll out. Was gonna go and get that filled up. We have a water dispenser in the, the driver room. That's where I usually fill up my water if I if I need to. Do a quick little tug test here. And she's mine. Alright, let's go. Maybe a 
take that stuff that's stacked over there. You know, they're going to turn around and park right in the middle of this mud here, I guess. Yeah, I don't really want to park in this mud. down some freight. Some Texas freight. Oh, of course, just as I'm getting out of the cab. Who wants me? Nothing. That phone, I don't get it. My phone keeps dinging and notifying me and I don't know what it's notifying me for. Just random things. Hey, guess what? Guess what? Nothing. Nothing. You want to know something? Nothing. Okay, so we're going to Quickly undo this here. Here, let me put you over here. I don't need two hands for this. And I'm gonna need my gloves. Oh, there we go. Come with me. Get a snag. What did we hit? Something here doesn't want to roll. Ah, curtain got caught in the wheels. No, 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 no. You're not closing again. Come on. There we go. Get my high tech uh, brakes. There we go. I ain't going anywhere. And we're ready to rock. You'd be very careful with this fencing here. It's uh, very flimsy. You have to put your straps right at the edges, otherwise it'll just crumple in on itself. It's very light freight. You be very careful with it. And then these are just the bases. I had only needed one strap, but since the bag was in the center there, strapped down like with a band onto there, put two straps just on either side of the bag. Just the way I decided to do it. All right, so time to close her up. Ready to go up to Arburg. Ready, set, buckle myself in so I don't fall out. Open the window so I can breathe. 
then go. Their sign says, see you again soon. I'm sure we will. Here at our next pickup in Arburg. And we're all loaded up and tied down and we're about to close up the trailer here again. This stuff's going to Austin, Texas. All loaded up here real good, no damages. Straps going over the wood where possible. And our freight from this morning is up here. Got to lock this in here. I'll come back any further. Might have to undo the front first. See how that pin has got to drop into that hole there. It's not coming back far enough right now because I have it hooked up at the front. So we'll go and undo the front real quick. I'll close this up while we're passing by here. Before we forget, never say, oh, I'll do that before I go. Oh, I'll do that in a bit. No, don't. Don't do that. Do it now. That's there just for good measure. Okay, so this is all hooked up on here. This is what I mean. I thought I could do it if I hooked in the front first. I'm just gonna pull that horn just a little bit there. Oh, it seems like it's a little jammed up on that side. Yeah, these things are picky. never quite want to work the way they're supposed to. Okay, that should be enough. Just like a foot this way more than enough. Just to give it some slack. See? We walk all the way to the back again. Getting our steps in. Okay, now we want this to fall into that hole. Close. There we go. See? Up against there. This side in there as well. There we go. There you go. All buttoned up. Take old Betsy back home. What do you guys think? Is that a good name for her? Because 
we got to embrace the fact that this truck is old but that's okay we like it that it's old it's got you know some experience behind her old betsy old rusty rusty's kind of a guy's name i wanted this to be a... i guess it doesn't matter what would be the female version of rusty rustine rusty rustani let's we'll call her old betsy how about that <laughs> old betsy She's old, she's got mismatching half fenders, more rust than paint, almost two million kilometers, over one and a half million miles. That's not right. Over one million miles, over 1.2 million miles, I don't know. She's old. She's an experienced girl. That stuff we picked up this morning, the first freight, it's actually going to Arkansas. Uh, one second, it's going to, I just read it, where are you? Fort Smith, Arkansas. Our Kansas, not their Kansas, our Kansas. Admit it, you let out a chuckle just there. The joke is old, but it doesn't get old. The joke is old, but it doesn't get old. I'm just gonna shut up. How about we let old Betsy do the talking for a bit, eh? Don't let, don't lie to me. You like the sound of her voice. Here it goes, all right? Let's see what she has to say to us. All those trailers almost match again. All evenly spaced, parked perfectly straight. Wow. That's not our yard over there, but we I think we rent the space or we're allowed to use it. Not sure what the agreement is, but we parked some of our trailers over there on that side of the fence though, because we've run out of space. We need more space, big time. But there's only so much space available here, so we're making do. We've turned all of this, like that's why we've, uh, that's why they, uh, have packed this all in now for extra parking. Well, it's just sort of uh, rearranging things to work a little bit better. That's all that needs to be done. And they've been doing a really good job. Like since springtime, everything is sort of disorganized in, like in the beginning of spring because of winter. We don't do a lot of organizing in winter because it's minus 30. But this summer, they've done a really good job in the yard here, organizing and making everything better. Like it's, they've made a lot of progress. It's good to see, good to see. I don't know why I'm on this side. So all my stuff is on the other side. Let's go get the bike first. How about that? I don't even have my keys for it. All right. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just wandering around here. It's time to go home. That's what I'm doing. Time to go home. There's all my stuff.